3, 2, 1, go! Bitte, komm, 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 zieh, 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 So, first test of the day, 50 second all out sprint. Um, and it's not about uh, how high you can go or how, uh, how much power you can uh, put out. It's about the maximum lact uh, lactate volume. Uh, so after that, now before that I will sit down, get my uh, resting lactate measured and then I do the sprint and then I sit down for 10 minutes and every, every minute uh, my lactate gets measured and from that you can yeah, count there. Let's see, last year I did 1175 watts in maximum so this, this time I tried to go a little higher. <laughs> The first one is already done, it was um, measuring the, the body fat percentage <laughs> and also standing on the scale <laughs> and I failed this one, if you can fail it. <laughs> yeah. Then, see the guy? Three, three, two, one, go! Come, 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 Ah. <laughs> Shit. Ah, as a triathlete it's probably better to not go as high <laughs> it's like 75 watts lower than last year so now I'm sitting on this chair here for 10 minutes and every minute I get my lactate measured so at the end of the day I will have like a quite uh, blue ear <laughs> second test of the day uh, the easiest probably uh, five times five minutes starting really easy and just uh, the last five minutes will be right above threshold hopefully so yeah not gonna be too hard and after that we still have the VO2 max 
test on the treadmill and the VO2 max test on the, on the bike. Let's go. Just uh, did 10 minute easy warm up and now I'm gonna start with probably like 4.30 pace. So quite easy, then it's gonna be like 4.10, 3.50, 3.30 and I think the last uh, 5 minutes will be like 3.12. So should be right around the uh, threshold, we will see. <laughs> Alright, test done and dusted was, I felt not that good, but I think the numbers never lie. Last test of the day, bike ramp VO2 max, uh, I think uh, 25 watts every 30 seconds. Last year I made it until 550 watts, so now the goal is 575 at least. And still like the, uh, about the last test, like the VO2 max run test was quite good I think. Um, most might have been my, my best uh, VO2 max run test ever. Um, I'm already here for like the fifth or sixth time in the last three or four years. So yeah, and now, now my favorite on the bike. Let's go.
last year <laughs> heart rate over 200 in the end <sighs> all right um, I'm here with the results uh, from yesterday's uh, lab tests and yeah I'm gonna start straight straight into it and um, I'm gonna start with the the hardest part my my weight because it's probably necessary so you have like uh, um, yeah more insight into all the data which is coming after and uh, yesterday at the test I weighed 79 kilogram which is quite heavy <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure the scale shows too much uh, no just kidding it's uh, it's like 77 is totally normal for me um, I mean it was also after breakfast uh, but enough the excuses, uh, it's uh, normal for me in, in the winter. Um, my race weight is probably around 73, 74 um, kilograms. <laughs> and <laughs> getting attacked by, by a cat during. Um, and yeah, but my, my body fat was actually um, quite, quite okay for January uh, at 9.5%. Uh, uh, so as you can see, most of this this weight uh, comes yeah from from our muscles. Uh, yeah, and then uh, we start uh, straight into the the testing results. Um, I think I'm gonna start with uh, with the cycling, and um, my uh, VLA max. So the maximum lactate uh, volume is zero point four nine, and my um, VO two max. Um, compared for the body weight is at uh, 72. Um, these are numbers um, I'm not I'm not really happy with actually I expected it um, a lot better to be honest and but it also explains I mean I, I yesterday I didn't feel the best uh, as during the during the cycling um, so I think you can also see that uh, in the results um, overall my my threshold, um, is at 370 watts um, it's okay we have um, I think like good data we can work with uh, for the next month and I think also like the numbers uh, especially VO2 max will automatically rise as soon as I get to race weight um, and as well the um, VLA max uh, will decrease because it has to decrease uh, for me as I'm doing uh, Half distance, um, yeah. When we just start to do more the race specific sessions, and um, yeah, until now we only did uh, we like it's my sixth training week now, and or my seventh training week now. So we had six full training weeks um, with one uh, training camp or like two, let's say one and a half training camps. And um, so, but we the only interval sessions we did were like uh, VO two max sessions. So um, for this uh, VLA max, we actually did did nothing yet. So yeah, it's it's okay. Um, I expected a bit better on the bike um, to be honest, but um, yeah, like I said, it's fine. And 
like we can work with that for now um, it's probably nothing uh, unhuman i would say like maybe you won't be too, too impressed by it but uh yeah in the end it counts uh what you what you can do in the race and not at a and in the lab <laughs> all right then um let's go for running so for running i'm actually um positively surprised because um in the training i didn't feel this great in the first six training weeks and um i didn't expect it to be that good and here the VLA max was uh, 0.43 and the VO2 max is 75. Um, so that's quite good. It means it will probably easily go um, up to 80 as soon as I lose um, some kilograms. <laughs> and um, my threshold is therefore at 313 uh, per kilometer and yeah with that I'm really like positively surprised and it also um, shows like because yesterday at the running I actually felt felt, um, felt quite good and uh, you can see that see that in the results and I can still talk about my my shoe choice for yesterday's test uh, as you could see um, I ran in the Vaporfly next percent um, the reason for that is um, because I ran my test before uh, there in the same shoe and it's an old one so it's for sure not the freshest and fastest but um, yeah it's definitely faster than like a normal training shoe so if I'm running like threshold in training I think I have to take down like let's say five seconds per kilometer on the other hand um, I'm not that good of an indoor guy so I'm not that good on a treadmill like I am compared to, to outdoors and um, so it's maybe compensating this this a little bit um, yeah I'm trying especially in running I'm trying to learn uh, to go rather slower in training uh, than too fast um, which is yeah training wise uh, better for for the for the half distance so yeah I think these are the um, all the important all the important data um, if you want to know anything else uh, more specific, uh, just drop a comment. Um, I, I'll try to answer and uh, get back to you. Um, I'm really transparent with my data. Um, like maybe you know already, when you follow me on Instagram or Strava, um, you can really follow um, every single um, run and bike session since 2015 on my Strava. Um, I'll de definitely drop uh, the link uh, into the description and um, yeah lately I'm even posting swimming and um, my gym work as well so now I'm really fully transparent um, and I'm happy with it I have no secrets uh, that's uh, my goal that's what I want uh, I'm happy when other pros uh, do the same um, because for myself I always find it really like um sympathetic when like my idols uh, were transparent with their data so i try uh, to do that as well and actually more and more pros are um, like transparent with the data even when it's just simple numbers how much they trained in a week um, it's not saying a lot but it's already something and uh, the people are happy with that and yeah and strava is as well pretty fun of course all right that's it for my uh, first ever YouTube video um, or vlog or have, however you want to call it. And yeah, as you can see, um, I'm doing it in English and I will keep doing it in English um, just to be able to um, engage with uh, more people around the world because I hope uh, that a lot of people from all around the uh, world will, will watch my videos and um, so just that everyone can really understand um what i'm what i'm doing what i'm what i'm talking about and i think most of the uh, germans are uh, will understand english as well so therefore um i'm happy to do it in english and um yeah but as it's, as it's not my mother language please forgive me if i have sometimes uh, some small mistakes but i think overall it's uh, quite okay 
Um, so please uh, give me a lot of feedback, um, especially also what you want to, to see um, throughout this new uh, journey and chapter in yeah, my triathlon career, um, what you want to see on YouTube, um, apart from training, training days, um, etc. And um, don't forget to subscribe like and comment or uh, how you say so yeah um share the video i would be happy if you if you do that as well so and yes that's it and um i see you soon bye